Hello Grade Tens. Today we'll be looking at value added tax which is more commonly known as VAT. We are going to explain what VAT is, the difference between something being VAT inclusive and VAT exclusive, and how it is calculated. According to the South African Revenue Service or SARS, VAT is an indirect tax based on consumption of goods and services in the economy. Revenue is raised for the government by requiring certain traders or vendors to register and to charge VAT on taxable supplies of goods or services. This means that we have to pay tax on most goods that we purchase and the services delivered to us. This money goes to the government to use to run the country. At the time of this recording, VAT is set at 14%. This means that for most goods and services that are traded, 14% of the traded price is added to the selling price and paid to SARS by the trader. There are some items that are VAT exempt. This means that tax is not added to their price. These include brown bread, brown bread flour, hen's eggs, dried beans, maize meal, Pilchards in tins, milk, cultured milk, milk powder and dairy powder blend, dried mealies and mealy rice, samp, fresh fruit and vegetables, lentils, rice, vegetable cooking oil, edible legumes and pulses of leguminous plants, that is, peas and peanuts. The services that are exempt from VAT are public road and railway transport, financial services, rentals on residential property, the sale or rental of land outside SA, educational services, union membership fees, service of caring for children by a creche or an after-school care centre. Let's see how VAT is calculated on a single item. The price paid for a tin of jam from the supplier is 4 Rand. This is the price before the VAT is added. This price is known as the price excluding VAT. Now as VAT is charged at a rate of 14%, the calculation is done as follows. 14% multiplied by 4 Rand equals 56 cents. This is the amount of VAT that must be added to the price of the jam. 4 Rand plus 56 cents is equal to 4 Rand 56 cents. When the VAT is added to this price, we talk about the price being inclusive of VAT. A till slip is a financial document that is issued by a retailer as proof of the sale of goods. For the purpose of this exercise, we'll be looking at a till slip from a local supermarket. The name and contact details of the business are printed on the till slip. The business is also a registered VAT vendor as can be seen by the VAT number 41701-34359. At the bottom of the till slip is the name of the cashier who completed the transaction. The time and date is also noted here. Looking through all the items on the till slip, are there any that you notice from the list shown earlier? Brown bread and cooking oil are marked with asterisks. These are used to indicate VAT exempt items. Now let's see how the VAT has been calculated on this till slip. According to the till slip, an amount of 22 Rand and 44 cents is the VAT that has been charged on the items. Adding up all the items on the till slip and subtracting the VAT free items gives a total of 160 Rand and 27 cents. The rate of VAT is currently 14%. Let us calculate the VAT payable on the items bought on this till slip. 160 Rand and 27 cents multiplied by 14% equals 22 Rand and 44 cents. This is the same amount shown on the till slip. 
Let's look at another scenario where Moira wants to buy a bed and she wants to know what the price of the bed is before VAT. In other words, the VAT exclusive price. The bed is marked 3,500 Rand inclusive of VAT. So the price before VAT must be less than this amount. This is not a difficult calculation, but learners often find this difficult to grasp. Listen carefully to this explanation. If we say that 100% equals the price of the bed without VAT, and the price of the bed with VAT is 114%, let's repeat these two points. The price of the bed without VAT is 100%, and the price of the bed with VAT is 114%. In other words, the price of the bed before VAT is 100 divided by 114 multiplied by 3,500 Rand, rounded off to two decimal places. This equals 3,070 Rand and 18 cents. Let's go over a trick that will help you do these questions. Be sure to write this down. When we need to find the price without VAT, we multiply the price with VAT by 100 over 114. When we need to find the price with VAT, we multiply the price without VAT by 114 over 100. Thank you for joining us, Grade 10s. Remember, the task for this section can be found in the Finance Task video. You will also be able to learn more about finance on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.